The new part compare command in Solid Simulation allows you to analyze the difference between your solid model and the resulting stock from simulation. The first thing you'll need to do is um, set your solid model as a simulator part so that it gets sent to the solid simulation. If I just run this quickly to get the simulation result, there we have it. So we've got the ability to set defaults here and save and retrieve default settings. So you can set the interval between the colors to whatever you want. And it will update the numbers here. You can set your, your maximum in the range and minimum in the range. And it will update these accordingly. Uh, the, the tolerance and the number of colors. So if I just get my default. So with these settings, um, any anything that any material that is more than 0 0.1 millimeter stock will appear in light blue and dark blue, and anything less than uh, 0 0.1 will be yellow or red. So there you can see the model is mainly green, which is good. It's the uh, correct amount of material left on. We've got some red up here. So that indicates too much has been taken off. So for these, you can see the wrong size tool has been used. Uh, on the cusp of the 3D machining, you can see there is some blue that's been left on. That's usually OK as it's 3D machining done with a ball end. On the bottom that's been unmachined, you can see there's the excess stock. And up the end here, there's some holes that weren't drilled. So they appear as blue with excess stock. And the hole here is green. So that's been machined correctly. So it's a nice, easy way to verify your, your part for production. 